How to change the belt. If your conveyor belt has become damaged, you will need to replace it. You will need two people to do this job. First, lift the conveyor onto its side so you can access underneath. Remove the external scrapers by loosening all the clinch nuts with a 10mm spanner. Lift the external scrapers off the frame and remove the clinch nuts. Next, take the tension off the belt by moving the tail or idler drum off the conveyor. Lift the rubber grip and unscrew the stud bars. It is important to keep the drum level by making small adjustments to both stud bars, alternating from one side to the other. If you make large adjustments, then this will damage the thread on the stud bar. We recommend you use a hand ratchet to avoid putting too much torque on the stud. Keep checking the drum as you make adjustments so that it stays level. Adjust the stud bars until the tail drum is as far back as it will go. If there is a lockout on your conveyor handle, remove this part before you remove the belt. Then, pull the belt towards the head end of the conveyor. One person needs to pull the slack towards the head end while the second person lifts the belt off the frame. Remove the belt from the conveyor. To put on a new belt, first unroll the replacement belt. You will notice there's an arrow marked on the belt. This arrow shows the direction to lay the belt. Lay the belt next to the conveyor with the arrow pointing from the tail end of your conveyor towards the head end. This is important. With the conveyor on its side, make sure the tail drum is pushed back as far as it will go. Lift the belt over the tail end of the conveyor. Then, lay the new belt along the conveyor and lift the end over the head or drive drum. To tension the belt, you will need to slowly tighten the stud bars using a 19 mm hand ratchet. Again, make small adjustments to both stud bars to keep the drum level and prevent damage. Keep checking the drum as you make adjustments so that it stays level. Lastly, put the external scrapers back on. For each scraper, put the four clinch nuts into the top side of the frame. Put the scraper in place and then put in the four remaining clinch nuts. When all the clinch nuts are in place, carefully tighten them. Keep pulling the scraper towards you as you tighten the nuts to make sure it locks in place. Track and tension the belt. It is now ready to use.